Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video, we're going to look at a new mod map release for Farming Simulator 19. Welcome to Missouri by Tomex. This is 155.90 megabytes to download. And the description in the mod hub says, Welcome to the village of Kosiel Doozy. Apologies if I've said that wrong. Which is based on a real village. Discover the style of the Polish capital of the dairy industry. In the map you will find two farms with placeable buildings. You can breed cows or pigs. The map also has eight selling points. One large village, seasons mask, forest. 25 fields of various sizes and 28 extensive meadows and a beautiful Polish style. So, I'm in new farmer mode and if we have a look in the map, this is the map. It's not a huge map, it's sort of this sort of corner outwards and that's it really. Um, in new farmer mode we start off up here so these are your two farms across the road from each other in new farmer mode we start off here in this farm which is the cow farm you start off with all this area there's a little meadow out the back here um, just down this track where the cows go out to pasture and this is a grass field there we've got field 18 they're sort of dotted around a bit. Field 6, Field 5, Field 12 and Field 2. I think this little strip there, because they're all separate, is a little um, grass area as well. Um, the field prices vary a fair bit. So Field 25 is 141,000. If we go over to Field 4 568. You can buy these areas, which is all grassland, 488, field 1, 295. You can buy this area, 116. But there is a few areas on here that you can't buy. And you can kind of sort of tell by the different shades of colour. So this green's darker to this green here. So you can buy this field. You can't buy that field. Again, you can't buy that area. But you can buy these little darker forestry areas. These fields you can't buy. Clicking on them they don't work. Again this bit, this bit, this bit. And then same again at the top here. You can't click on these. So there's a fair bit of the map that you can't buy. Um, there's no BGA. Which is interesting. So if you wanted one of those you'd have to use one of the mods and place it yourself. Um, a few sale points dotted around, it's not a huge map like I say and it's not going to take too long to whiz round because you've got a few sale points uh, in a cluster there with the shop, the shop's quite amusing when we get to that, <laughs> it's very basic. Um, so in new farmer mode like I say we start off here. One thing I will say about this map is it is very dark. You need your flashlight just to see where you're going most of it. But in new farmer mode, we will look at our equipment. The slot count is 401 on new farmer mode and we start off with this. We get the armor track um, 1104, Fent favorite 511C. Fiat 1300 DT, a Bison Harvester, two um, HW80 trailers, a header for your harvester, a cultivator, um, the Raby MKE 300 which can link up with that, the Amazoni Cedar, front loader with the bucket, a weight, and then we go into our building so we've got the pig enclosure which holds 90 pigs 
which is on the other side of the road we've got a cow pasture which is on our side that holds 200 cows we've got a large grain silo which is 200,000 litre capacity there is crops in there on the farmer mode and then we've got a small grain silo which is on the other side of the road at the other farm that's a hundred thousand litre capacity but that will hold potatoes and sugar beet as well we've got a small bunker silo which we'll see in a second and we've got two gas stations um, at both the farms we've got farm storage shelter farm storage shelter again farm storage shelter again brick which i'll show you in a second brick again and then you've got two farmhouses which is obviously on the other side of the road and if you sell off all that equipment you can get the slot count down to 189 which is quite impressive and if you come on to here in the other two modes farm manager and start from scratch um, you can start off with all the same machinery you just don't get any fields or any of the buildings so that you don't get the farmhouses or the cow and pig pastures um, the slot count for those two modes is 287 and again if you sell all that off you can get it down to 189 so brick if you sell that that's this bit and there's another one on the other farm um, this is our farmhouse the sleep triggers there but you can use everything on the other farm even though we don't technically own it so if you wanted to buy it 78,000 that obviously comes with a pig pen but you can use the sleep trigger you can put pigs in there without owning it because obviously it's in our garage you can sell it all off and in the modded in things in animal pens we've got both those two pens miscellaneous we've got our gas station in silos as you can imagine you've got the two grain silos decoration we have got the two brick layouts although i'm not sure why you'd want to put them back down because they're kind of um what's the word i'm looking for specific to the farms so if you put them down i'm guessing you're gonna have to match buildings up to it and then you've got the farm storage shelters like that there's nothing in sheds and then in farmhouses we've got the two farmhouses so let's have a look around our very dark farm the triggers are quite huge so that one stretches out to there and that is actually for the fuel tank which is there you can go in these buildings you've got storage there isn't any lights in there which makes it even worse for the darkness this is obviously a drive through then just out the back here we've got the large grain silo so you tip in there Again, huge hazard marks and your pipe out there and you've got some more buildings storage shelters like so some of these doors I did notice especially on the other farm if you push forward enough you end up going through them without um, even open them so what did I do to show you the sleep trigger it's just there on that door can't remember what I've done now <laughs> this is the cow pasture dialogue box is there like I said holds 200 cows you've got all your um, feed and straw through there you can go all through these uh, dry through I'm not sure if that's a line point because we've got another hazard mark area there and there or i'm wondering if in a weird way i know it doesn't look right that is the milk because i couldn't actually find the milk for the cows because we've got a slurry pit there we've got our small bunker silo here 
there's your manure if we go round here just here we've got our water trough and then the cows when you do buy them they appear and they come out into this sort of pasture area here just over the back beyond that fence is that little grass field I was on about there is um three straw bales down there but I think they're just for decoration so yeah I couldn't find the milk so I'm guessing maybe that is it at the front there with that trigger um, if we just run across the road just outside again huge great big trigger and I, that's for this water standpipe so you've got a water trigger there and then this is into the pig farm again this is the brickwork that it says so if you sell that that would disappear these buildings here again so let me see if I can yeah see I didn't even open that look you can see I just pushed my way through and again you've got hazard marks inside let's see if I can yeah straight through push through look didn't even open it that's for the fuel tank just there and then you've got more storage space here and the sleep trigger for this farmhouse is just here at the back so again you can still use it um, this is the pig enclosure there you go holds 90 you got your feed water and straw through the middle so drive through which is handy and then we've got manure and slurry just there that is pretty much the pig farm oh and there's the small grain silo sorry over the back there which is the one that takes potatoes and sugar beets so if we go and grab the tractor we're going to grab this one because it's um, quickest out of all three Again, you can see how dark it is. So we'll have a quick um, whiz around the map. Like I say, it's not going to take us long. I do like all the little sort of houses scattered around, like here. It's got, you know, a nice little feel to it, like that. There's quite a few of these around the map. Now I've got to remember my turn and I think it's just in here. This is the first of our cell points. Just there you can see the hazard mark. And this is Pool Farm. There's not many cell points. That's one of your main cell points. Just takes all your standard crops. And if we come out of here. Do a left here. There doesn't seem to be any traffic up this top half of the map. And you've got all these little sort of roads and tracks. But I've chose a route where we're going to see a little bit more of the map. And we come down to sort of the main road at the bottom of the map. And there's some traffic on there. So as you can see there's a lot of grass fields about hence why it says in this description about the um, dairy um, was it this one no I think I've um, stopped too early oh there it is there again I'll jump out and have to put my flashlight on so this is your bell cell point, I think. Yeah, so this is barn. This is going to be your bell cell point up the top. As you can see. And then just up the road, we've got John Farm. I'll show you while we're in the menus. That's another main cell point. Just does your standard crops, nothing else. But we will drive up to it. I believe it's in here and again very dark put my lights on 
you can see it there with the hazard marks as a tip in one That's the first thing I noticed straight away when we come on here how dark it was. But, you know, it's not going to put some people off, they're going to be happy with it. And if we swing a right here, we'll go through a little bit of forestry area. Quite nice open sort of space in between the trees you've got there, so you shouldn't have any trouble chopping them down if you so wish it does look a nice little map though I'm not knocking it I mean I wouldn't knock any modders of maps or any of the equipment and that because I think they do a fantastic job I mean I wouldn't even know where to start with doing anything like that so I'll, I'll never knock anyone for anything just here to do an honest review and just say what I think what I feel this is a very bumpy track here but you know it's, it has got some nice sort of colouring on this map if that makes sense when you get out in the open like this and it's not as dark so we're on the uh, main road which I talked about as you can see there's the traffic you know little features like that little bus stop there so I chose this route just to um, show you a little bit more otherwise I just didn't want to go from cell point to cell point little things like that the little bathtubs in the fields there you quite often see those um, in fields over here in the UK quite cool just little things like that it's not as dark down the bottom here but it's still got its little little areas I think next on the agenda is going to be the sawmill I think we've got to take a right in a sec again there's sort of more little houses, farm buildings so if we swing right here I think now that we get rid of the traffic random little field there which you can buy which looks like they've got potatoes growing in there I don't know if it would be even worth growing potatoes in that small field so there's your sawmill see your lumber point just there and your trigger and then just in the background there you've got your wood chips with the trigger in front of that and if we carry on up the top we get to the cluster where um, all the other sort of cell points are and the animal dealer in the shop makes it easy for me because everything's in the same place so this is the shop I was on about on the right it was just like a little sort of porter cabin that oh let's turn that off so again you got a massive great big trigger there for this water sound uh, standpipe we've got our um, workshop trigger there which I believe is the only one on the map because there's not one at the farm not, not like I could find so that's your area there for your um, workshop trigger. Shop menu, just there. Can't actually go in that. I presume this is the shop. <laughs> it's just made me laugh that. I thought it was quite cool. Now, this is where everything's sort of clumped up. I'm probably going to have to turn my flashlight on again. And I need to get this right. So this hatched area there is your spinnery next door we've got gs i think it was right let me show you what we did actually so we came down we went to pool farm we come up this little track did barn john farm we come across there we cut through that sort of forestry area and round we went all the way down there 
to the main road all the way along and then we took that sharp right sawmill and then we're up here did the shop and we're doing all that and this is where we're going to end because we're sort of coming back up into this area so yeah gs this is which is milking eggs so if i tag that there you go well let me come away tag that there you go that's that one just over here we've got our animal dealer box there you go pig enclosure cow pasture we've got a lime station just there around the back we have got selling station which is towards the bottom and that does your potato sugar beet and sugar cane nothing else hence all the piles of potatoes and then last but not least just up here we've got grain elevator east grain elevator east which is another main sale point just does all your standard crops and that's all in that sort of area and that pretty much is it just have a little drive up this road see what this sort of, sort of built up area looks like but yeah that's pretty it pretty much it sorry um, pretty small map it's going to appeal to quite a few people I would have thought so you've got all these little areas that you can probably buy nice little village and that is it, that is Missouri by Tomex and then we're back at our main farm so I hope you've all enjoyed the map tour if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine I've been Farm Sim Snowy stay frosty